The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Israelites, when you discover that you are under demonic oppression, you need deliverance. Without deliverance, the kingdom of darkness will maintain control over your life. After you discover your dream life is saturated with evil dreams, you must seek the Most High for answers. Once the Most High give you instructions, you must follow the instructions. Do not rely or depend on someone else to deliver you or to pray for you. The Most High gave His people the ability to build a personal relationship with Him. In addition, the power to overcome the kingdom of darkness. You have to take accountability for your life and humble yourself to find deliverance. You cannot depend on anybody else to deliver you. When I found out that I was under demonic oppression, the first thing I did was seek the Most High. Yah led me to people who have experienced what I've been through to listen to their testimonies and teachings. The Most High did not send me to these people to have them deliver me. Only the Most High can deliver His people. Yah led me to those ministries to listen to what they did to be delivered. Israelites, it is extremely important to know the voice of the Most High. Not knowing the voice of the Most High will lead to your demise. The kingdom of darkness speak to you as well. Remember, Satan imitate the Most High. The scripture said the Most High's people know his voice. Another voice they will not follow. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. If you cannot discern the Most High's voice from the many voices speaking to you, make it your priority to get to know the Most High's voice. A good tip I can give you to help you discern the Most High's voice, Yah would never advise you to do anything contrary to His laws. You must do as the scriptures state, cast down the evil imaginations that rise up against the words of the Most High. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Wisdom is important in these last days. You must ask the Most High for a double portion of the spirit of discernment to test their spirit to make sure they bear good fruits. You must protect yourself in the awakening. You cannot be careless in this walk. I do not depend on the people the Most High place in my path to fight for me, nor to interpret my dreams. I rely solely on the Most High. Once I understand how the spirit realm work, I begin to attack my enemies in the spirit realm. The more I seek the Most High for help, my knowledge started to increase. As my knowledge increased, I graduate to the next level. Israelites, you have to continue to elevate in your journey. Standing still is revealing you are not growing spiritually. To know if you're growing spiritually, you depend more on the Most High. In addition, the Most High is the first person you seek for answers. I did not wait for the anointed teachers of the Most High to tell me to fight back. I wanted to be free. I humbled myself before the Most High and began the process to deliverance. I stopped looking at the flesh and focused on the spirit. Once I began to focus on the spirit, that is when my life began to change. Israelites, it is important that you know how to fight back against your enemies. You do not want to rely on other people, the most high place in your path to deliver you. You have to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. When you rely on other people, you place yourself in the position to be misled. 
When you place your confidence in men, you invite the kingdom of darkness into your problems. The scriptures say, do not place your confidence in men. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Remember, the workers of iniquity are the members of your family, friends, and acquaintance. The scriptures said a man's enemies are the members of his own household. Speaking to the wrong people about your life will cause delays and stagnation in your life. You have to depend on the Most High for guidance. Place your trust in the Most High to order your steps. Only the Most High can save you. The scriptures say, to whom the Most High set free is free indeed. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. To be free, the Most High has to set you free. Having someone else pray for you do not relieve you of your duties. When other people pray for you, it will assist in your deliverance. However, you have to take the leadership role in your own deliverance and pray for yourself. You have to be the one to give the Most High a sacrifice by fasting. When you humble yourself, you show the Most High you are serious in your deliverance. You also show the kingdom of darkness you are not afraid of them. Your deliverance is not the Israelite community or the black community's problem. You must do the work. When everyone takes responsibility for his or her personal deliverance, that is when you will see an improvement in our communities. You must tap into that power that lives in you to be delivered. Israelite spiritual warfare is an ongoing battle. The reason it is important to seek the Most High for deliverance and to put the Most High first, Yah is your trainer. The Most High will equip you with everything you need to stand against your enemies in the spirit and in the physical realm. If you do not know how to fight properly and you rely on other Israelites to win the battle for you, the kingdom of darkness will easily put you back into bondage. You have to know how to maintain your deliverance. The Most High is not going to train you just for you to place yourself in bondage again. That is why the first step to deliverance is to close the open doors, giving the kingdom of darkness an opportunity. The way to close the doors is through repentance. Once you repent and turn from the sin causing you to stumble, you can seek the Most High for help and the Most High will begin to build your spirit to stand against the kingdom of darkness in spiritual warfare. Israelites, it is important to know what you're doing before you jump into spiritual warfare. If you do not know what you're doing, you place yourself at risk to be put into bondage. Israelites, do you know why the kingdom of darkness increased the attack when you began to fast and pray? The reason the kingdom of darkness increased the attack to discourage you from seeking deliverance. Satan and his angels know if you seek deliverance the proper way, they will not be able to stand against you. The scripture said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rise against you in judgment, you shall condemn. It is the inheritance of the righteous. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. A quick tip. When you quote the scriptures in spiritual warfare battle, make sure you quote all of the words in the verse. Isaiah 54 and 17 is a popular verse. Most people stop at no weapon form against me shall prosper. The purpose of reminding the Most High of his words is to forge a covenant with the Most High and to make the Most High perform what his words say. There is power in the words of the Most High. There is no power behind your own words. The scripture said the words of the Most High would not return to him void. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. When you quote the scriptures, especially Isaiah 54 and 17, you want to remind the Most High of everything he said he would do in that verse. Remind him that every tongue that rise against you in judgment to condemn it, because that is your inheritance as a righteous person serving him in the spirit and in the truth. Do not be afraid to speak boldly to the Most High by reminding him of his words. His words are sharp and powerful. His words are meant to defend you. Speak the word. For the word of God is quick and powerful 
and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. The synagogue of Satan know if you speak boldly by using the words of the Most High, you gain power. In addition, you bring the judgment of the Most High upon the wicked. That is why the synagogue of Satan labeled the truth as hate speech. The kingdom of darkness always fight against the people of the Most High. Israelites, you have to wise up and recognize Satan's devices and counter the attack. Speak the words of the Most High. In addition to the distractions Satan bring when the kingdom of darkness increased the attack, the old covenants were broken. Most Israelites are not aware when the Most High has set them free. When the unclean spirits return repeatedly to forge a covenant, this indicates the covenants were broken. The unclean spirits are attacking you to reestablish the covenants. When you focus on the trials, you let your guard down. The kingdom of darkness will take advantage of your weakness. It is important to be alert and cast your cares on the Most High. That way you can remain focused on maintaining your deliverance. As you mature spiritually, the attack will become more advanced and complicated to confuse you. Do not be afraid. Continue to pursue the Most High for guidance. Israelites, there are multiple ways the kingdom of darkness forge a covenant with you in the spirit realm. When a person hand you something or a gift and you accept, you forge a covenant. When your spirit do not resist the unclean spirits, you forge a covenant. Kissing and sexual immorality in the spirit realm is forging a covenant. Signing documents and when you do not rebuke your dreams is forging a covenant. Israelites, there are multiple ways to forge a covenant. The ways I mentioned are some of the ways unclean spirits deceive you into a covenant in the spirit realm. Ancestral powers are unclean spirits traveling in your bloodline. They travel from one generation to the next. Ancestral spirit stems from family members who seek workers of iniquity to interfere with people's destinies. These individuals seek the workers of iniquity to change their children's destiny and their own destiny. Most people who seek the workers of iniquity do not want to submit to the Most High to obtain the desires of their heart. Instead of waiting on the Most High to bless them, they seek the kingdom of darkness to give them the desires of their hearts. There are plenty of people trading their glory for the lesser every single day. The scripture said what it profits a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? For what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Many people sacrifice their bloodline for personal gain. We live in the microwave generation. Many people do not want to wait on the most highest provision. Israelites, spiritual warfare requires obedience and patience. The Most High is not going to give you anything if you cannot handle it. When you seek the Most High for answers, you must learn to wait on His response. Yah can take several days, months, or years before He give you an answer to your prayers. Because many do not want to wait on the Most High, they seek the kingdom of darkness for provision. What most people do not realize was done in the dark will surely become known. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. The people who seek the workers of iniquity for provision or revenge do not realize the kingdom of darkness cannot be trusted. They believe if they give a sacrifice and perform the rituals their idols require of them, they will not suffer any penalties for their iniquities. They believe Satan will not come back to collect nor deceive them. The scripture said Satan is a liar and the father of lies. Generational curses are placed in a bloodline from your ancestors who seek idols. They do not realize the same curses they place on a person. Those curses will be placed on them and their children. Remember, the scripture said Yah would punish the children for the sins of their fathers to the third and fourth generation. The Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. In order to avoid the penalty of the sins of your parents, you have to repent of their sins. 
recognize the curses and break the curses by denouncing the idols and iniquities. You have to make a decision to serve the Most High. In addition to the children suffering for the sins of their fathers, the scriptures inform us a person reap what they sow. If you sow to the flesh, you will reap corruption. If you sow to the spirit, you will receive the things of the spirit. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. We all have family members who have seek the kingdom of darkness for provision. Due to their sins, the family is suffering. Remember the witchcraft spirit do not die, but transfer from one generation to the next. The deceived individual who seek the workers of iniquity do not realize when they sacrifice their children or bloodline to an evil altar, the entire family suffer for their iniquities. Idolatry, seeking the workers of iniquity and unrepented sins result in demonic ancestral spirits in your bloodline. What will happen is the unclean spirits that was put into your bloodline will begin to harass the members of your family. The demonic oppression starts very early. If you lack knowledge about the spirit realm, the kingdom of darkness will establish a covenant through your ignorance. The scripture said, my people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Israelites, not knowing is not an excuse with the Most High. The fact that we are living in the land of our captivity is a testimony to us for the sins of our ancestors. In addition, many of us suffered tremendously before we came into the knowledge of who we are and how the spirit realm operates. The ancestral spirits transform into generational curses in the physical realm. To recognize ancestral curses or oppression in your bloodline, look for the patterns in your family. Patterns such as infirmities in the form of high blood pressure, diabetes, and many other diseases. The curse of poverty, sexual immorality, hatred, division, early death, and many other patterns hunting down your family members. That is how ancestral oppression in the form of generational curses manifest in the physical realm. When you begin to notice the wicked patterns in your family, you will soon realize that someone in your family seek the workers of iniquity. What is done in darkness will become known. Your family members are not as innocent as they pretend to be. There are many pretenders among us. When the Most High increase your knowledge, you will begin to see our people's wickedness. Another way to refer to ancestral powers are familiar spirits. Familiar spirits are exactly what they are. They are unclean spirits familiar with your family. Ancestral spirits show up in the spirit realm in many ways. The most popular way ancestral spirits manifest in the spirit realm through a deceased loved one. The scripture said the dead have no knowledge of the living. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. Neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. The dead should not be speaking to you in the spirit realm. Their time is up. Israelites, the dead cannot help you. Yeshua said to the disciples, let the dead deal with the dead. Jesus said unto him, let the dead bury their dead. But go thou and preach the kingdom of God. When the dead show up in the realm of the spirit, it is an unclean spirit seeking a covenant. Ancestral spirits love to use the faces of the people you trust to deceive you into a covenant. That is why they are also referred to as familiar spirits. Most of the time when the unclean spirits use the face of the people you know, they are dressed in black. Anything dark in your dream should be a red flag to you. For example, if the settings in your dream is dark, that is an evil dream from the kingdom of darkness. Ancestral powers will show up in the form of backwardness. If you find yourself going back to a childhood home, school, or a time that has passed, that is ancestral generational curse of backwardness. Ancestral powers will show up in the form of the oldest living person in your family if they are alive. These are some of the ways ancestral spirits manipulate you into a covenant in the spirit realm. Israelites, the more you seek the Most High, this will begin to make sense to you. 
If you seek knowledge, the Most High will give you knowledge. The scripture said wisdom and understanding comes from the Most High. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. The more you submit yourself to the will of the Most High, the world you live in will begin to make sense. There is no good thing Yahweh hide from those who walk uprightly. As I mentioned, I was in a position where I could not understand what is happening to my life despite seeking the Most High. When I truly made up my mind to seek the Most High with all of my heart and soul, Yah began to reveal to me the things religion in the kingdom of darkness was hiding. I still have a lot to learn. I will continue to seek the Most High for answers. I advise you to do the same. We have to maintain a teachable spirit. By doing this, we give the Most High the opportunity to show himself strong through us. Israelites, allow the Holy Spirit to guide you into all truth. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish.